I'm here today with Ken Anderson, who happens to also be my uncle, and we are doing a 14K and 14 day mm -hmm. campaign to raise $14,000 for the Ken Anderson Alliance. Kenny, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Ken Anderson Alliance? Well, we're trying to make a difference with adults with uh, de developmental disabilities. And, you know, when we started it, we have, uh, you know, a lot of grand ideas and all of a sudden they're coming into fruition. You know, we want to create live, work and engage opportunities. Well, our engage opportunities, we have about uh, 20 outings a month that service about 200 adults that go out during the week in small outings, whether it's to a dinner, to a Cyclones game, playing putt-putt, volunteering at another nonprofit. Um, as far as work is concerned, uh, we've got uh, our Just Brew coffee shop open up on Plainfield Road, and uh, where we employ 14 adults with disabilities, and two of our managers happen to be our adults that were working there. Uh, we have service about 100 a week in adult daycare services, and hopefully later on this year, we're breaking ground on, uh, on the Springfield Commons, which will be our housing unit, uh, our community that'll house between 150 and 170 adults with disabilities. That's awesome. So the Ken Anderson Alliance is doing a lot of great things in town. And with the Bengals going to the Super Bowl, um, with Kenny being the first quarterback to take the Bengals to the Super Bowl, we're going to do 14 questions. Um, and to give you guys some inside information of what's going on with Kenny right now and how Super Bowl was back in the day. So starting out, there's a lot of nicknames on the team right now. You've got Shooter, you've got uh, Joe uh, Joe Shiesty, Joe Cool. Were there any nicknames that you had back in the day? Well, the, the, the first one was Rookie, and uh, a lot of the guys called me Rookie, even though I was a 10-year veteran. They said I still acted like a rookie. And the other one that uh, that Bob Trumpy gave me that stuck for a while was Freddie Franchise. So those were probably the two nicknames I had. I've heard, I've heard Joey Franchise. Yeah. Okay. Um, so any superstitions before the games? Did you do anything, you know, that was a... Well, you, you know... I, and it's a superstition because I would do everything at the same time on game day. Okay. Arrive at the stadium, you know, put my pads in my pants at the same time, go out for a pre-warm-up at the same time, come in. So everything had to be on a structured time element uh, before a game. I have been wearing the same sweater of my dad's. Um, Every game and every game I've worn it, they won. I didn't wear it like a few games and they- I can tell you haven't watched it either. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and I haven't, that's the truth. <laughs> um, so you talked a little bit about what game day looked like for you, but how would you say it's different from when you played to, um, today? Not a lot on game day. It's still the, the same routine and you get up in four hours before the game, you have your pregame meal. Now, whether you have a meeting afterwards uh, or not is kind of the discretion of the coach. I've done it both ways. And then it's get to the stadium, you know, and then go through your routine. And the coach will put up on the board, okay, kicker's out at a certain time, quarterback's out at a certain time, the team's out at a certain time. And then you have your routine for your pregame warm-up that you go through. And uh, so it, it's, like I said, that part of it hasn't changed a lot. Okay. So I have to ask you a few uh few questions. Skyline or Gold Star? Are you a bigger Skyline fan or Gold uh, Star? Well, now you're going to make me <laughs> piss off somebody. I mean, but uh, it's Skyline. Skyline. You just like Cincinnati chili overall. Yeah, yes. All right. The Icky Shuffle or the new uh, Gritty that all the players are doing? Uh, neither one. <laughs> oh, okay. Neither. Um, one of the best memories or stories, funniest moments that you have? I know you probably have a ton, but just one. Well, it was probably in the AFC Championship game when it was 59 below zero we're playing the Chargers uh, in 1981, and they brought in heated benches for the first time. And we'd never seen them before, and I'm, I'm sitting on the bench uh, in the first quarter, and luckily I've got my helmet on because I sit down, I sit on my hands, My there's this little, little slots for your feet to go in, and someone threw a cape over me, and... You know, a couple minutes later, there's a big roar of the crowd, and I stand up to see if I'm going into the game, if there's a turnover, and my feet don't come out, and I go down, and the first thing that hits is my face mask, and I'm seeing stars, and I'm, I'm calling for the trainer to give me smelling salts. I said, I can't get knocked out of the AFC Championship game From falling off the bench. Oh, my gosh. That's one I've never heard before. That's a good one. Um, did you guys have any after-game celebrations? I know um, the Bengals right now, the whole cigar thing, um, anything that you guys did or you personally? No, nothing like that. You know, if it was a home game, 
you know, kind of everybody went their, their own way. You also said, you know, people in town, I know my parents came in for all the home games and to get together with them. And, you know, when the players kind of went out on their own for us, at least was after a road game, we would land and we would go out for a couple hours to some of the local establishments and maybe having a couple of adult beverages before we went home. So do you have a local favorite in town, local bar, local restaurant? Uh, if I'm in Kentucky, I go to Dickman's Sports Cafe. Best wings. And if I'm over in uh, Cincinnati, I go to the Holy Grail. Both are great places. Love the Holy Grail, too. Um, tell us, well, we talked a little bit about this in the beginning, about Just Brew. Um, tell us a little bit more about the coffee shop. And um, I know you guys are expanding, correct? It, correct. You know, it's a, it's a great place. The coffee is great. You can get a Kenny's Cup which is a caramel vanilla latte. We've got our Houdé latte going on for the playoffs uh, as well. But, you know, not only is it getting coffee, you can get a salad in there. You can get a Danish or a donut in, in there as well. But if you want to buy one of my jerseys, that's the place to go. We've got sweatshirts. We've got T-shirts. Um, Jen Jordan from Q102, uh, her son uh, is on the autism spectrum, and he does these great drawings that we've made into cards that people can buy or calendars. So I said, and we have uh, another, uh, one of our adults is a great painter. We sell his paintings in there. So just a, a variety of different things that, that you can also purchase uh, in the coffee shop. Yeah, it's very unique. It's a great place to work. So if you're in the area, I highly recommend going and checking it out. Um, if you had one piece of advice for Joe Burrow or the team as a whole as they go into this uh, Super Bowl game, what would that be? Do what you do. Uh, you know, don't. Don't make it out to be bigger than it is. And I think maybe that was my fault, you know, when we went to Pontiac for the Super Bowl. And, of course, I said before the season, if I ever go to a Super Bowl, it's going to be in Pontiac, Michigan. I won't get to go to California, Arizona, New Orleans, Florida. I get to go to Pontiac, Michigan. And uh, we went there, and you, you try to talk yourself into it. It's just another game. But when I'm standing there for the, the National Anthem, and Diana Ross was singing the National Anthem, I go, she doesn't show up in Cincinnati. This must be something pretty special about this game. But, you know, I'll say one this thing about this year's Bengals. They, they've handled situations so well. Uh, they're, they're composed. Uh, they're going to make a good effort. And, you know, I'm calling the Bengals win on this one a week from Sunday. Awesome. So I know there's a lot of excitement in the city right now um, with sending the Bengals to the Super Bowl. And there's a big pep rally scheduled for Monday. Are you going to be in attendance at the pep rally? I, I will be there. You know, I'm on two weeks off of back surgery. I'm going to be able to get around a, a little bit. And, and you know, I, I was we were going to go home before it. And then uh, my son and my wife talked. He said, you know, this would be a great thing for your grandkids to be a part of. So I said, as long as all my kids and grandkids get to go, I'll be there. And so that's what's going to happen. That's going to be exciting. And how can people purchase the raffle tickets for the 14K in 14 days? And what do they get with um, the opportunity, the chance to win? Well, it's really easy. You go to KenAndersonAlliance.org and it'll take you right to where you have to go to buy your tickets. And so one of the things that we have is uh, a throwback helmet. You know, it's got the old Bengals on the side of it. Uh, it's got the mesh lining instead of the padding that they have nowadays that I've signed up for everybody. Um, we also have a limited edition uh, bottle of bourbon from New Rift Distilleries that commemorates uh, my going into the Ring of Honor. And then something that truly is one of a kind is the Bengals have given out game balls around the city after playoff wins. 16 lots, who happens to root Kenny's day drinking lager, in case you're interested. I happen to have one of those Jeez. right here. <laughs> um, uh, well, the first one they got... Uh, they had the date of the game, but instead of 2022, it had 2015. So I think whoever was doing it, that must have been their kid's birthday, was 2015. And uh, so the Bengals saw that on social media and quickly called them. And so they have one with the correct date on it. But they are giving us the mistake ball that we can use as part of this as well, which is probably the most valuable one of all because that truly is one of a one kind. kind. Yeah, that's exciting. And lastly, do you have any score predictions? I know you said you think the Bengals are going to uh, win, and but any type of score prediction? Now? I'm, I'm going to say 31-24 Bengals. 31-24 yep. Bengals. All right, well, check out the Ken Anderson Alliance, grab your raffle tickets, and uh, go Bengals.